Among its many unique properties is the ability to support highly confined electromagnetic waves coupled to oscillations of electronic charge, plasmon polaritons, that have potentially broad applications in nanotechnology, including biosensing, quantum information, and solar energy. However, in order to support plasmon polaritons, graphene must be charged by applying a voltage to a nearby metal gate, which greatly increases the size and complexity of nanoscale devices. They accomplish this by exploiting novel interlayer charge transfer with a two-dimensional electron except this work allows us to use graphene as a plasmonic material without metal gates or voltage sources, making it possible to create standalone graphene plasmonic structures for the first time, said Kopai James Hone, Wang Fong Zhen Professor of Mechanical Engineering at Columbia Engineering. All materials possess a property known as a work function which quantifies how tightly they can hold on to electrons. When two different materials are brought into contact, electrons will move from the material with the smaller work function to the material with the larger work. This is the same phenomenon that generates static charge when you rub a balloon against your hair. A RUCL3 is unique among nanomaterials because it has an exceptionally high work function even when it is exfoliated down to a one or few atom. Th Knowing this, the Columbia researchers created atomic scale stacks consisting of graphene on top of a RUCL3. As expected, electrons were removed from the graphene, making it highly conductive and able to host plasmon polaritons, without the use on an external gate. In addition, the spacing between graphene and the underlying gate electrode blurs the boundary between charged and uncharged regions due to electric field fringing. This prevents realization of sharp charge features within the graphene and along the graphene edge necessary to manifest novel place. In contrast, at the edge of the RUCL3, the charge in the graphene drops to zero on nearly the atomic scale. This allows us to observe mirror-like plasmon reflection from these edges and to create historically elusive one-dimensional edge plasmons that propagate along the graphene edge. The team also observed sharp boundaries at nanobubbles where contaminants trapped between the two layers dis The research project used shared facilities operated by the Columbia Nano Initiative. The researchers are now pursuing routes to use etched RUCL3 as a platform for generating custom nanoscale charge patterns in graphene to precisely tune the plasmonic behavior according to various practical applications. They also hope to demonstrate that a RUCL3 can be interfaced with a wide range of 2D material. Hone noted, when our interlayer charge transfer technique is combined with existing procedures for patterning 2D substrates, we can easily generate tailor-made nanoscale charge patterns in graphene. This opens up a wealth of new opportunities for new electronic and optical devices. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.